So uh, pretty much talking about here about ingredient, it is talking about the fact that uh, some of these are native to us, more like some of the things we already said, and some of this come as per we bring in our creativity, innovation to that, right? Uh, to, to move to new, um, new either to on, um, on, 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 on uh, explored uh, frontiers, as it were. You know, so when we're talking about the ingredients, that those that we inherit as a result of where we are born, the tradition, the place we find ourselves, the way we do things, right? But we don't have to die there. We can evolve. We can, we can, we can extend the boundaries. We can push the boundaries and get better at the way we do it. We can move the whole culture forward. And, you know, we are born here to, to leave our mark in this life. That's the whole essence of being a, being a human being. Right, God did not born us here to be to, to play the follow the followers game, right? Which is easy, right? Like everybody's doing. The, <laughs> I mean, the, there's something inside each of us that we're brought into this life to to make our own mark in this life, to to make our our being here memorable, to to immortalize our name, our passage through this life, that people will remember us forever. We're each year to leave our own debt, debt in this life, right? And that's gonna come by allowing your own uniqueness to flow out by gifting the world which you, what, what is inside of you, right? And like we we'll say again, you know, you got to know how to do what is, what is to be able to bring about the more, right? You have first of all, be comfortable with what is, understand it before you begin to explore the boundaries, right? Uh, and, and just to speak a bit more on that, you know, he, he, um, Dr. Frank Thomas was writing sermons are developed out of raw materials or ingredients of a tradition, you know? And, and really, if, if you're gonna communicate to a particular set group, uh, you, you have to understand their culture. You have to understand the way they communicate. Otherwise, you're just gonna be speaking Latin and nobody's gonna understand what you're saying, right? If, if, if there's a particular se segment you wanna to speak to, you need to understand them enough to be able to reach them because uh, it might be the same English you speak it, but the way of speaking it might be different. Interpretation of words might be different. Intonation might be different. Pitch might be different. And there might be different understandings that come from those differences, right? Don't forget again, a very small, percentage of our communication is by words, right? People are reading meaning to what we're saying by what they are seeing, not necessarily what they're hearing. And what they're seeing influences what they hear. But what they're seeing can change entire words that they are hearing just because of the, the, what they are seeing. The way I'm moving my hand, it, it's a communication that overrides even the words that I'm saying. So if there's no harmony, between what, the way I'm gesticulating and the, what the words I'm saying, I might be communicating something other than what I want to communicate to the person that's hearing me. The person that's hearing me might be hearing something entirely different from what my intent is. And therefore communication has not taken place, right? So, you know, I need to understand the tradition, uh, the, the culture of the people I'm, I'm trying to talk to, right? So that all that I'm doing, my words, my gesticulation can achieve, be in harmony to pass the message, the intended message across to the person I'm saying it to. So, and that's what uh, Dr. Frank Thomas was saying here, is a need to understand the tradition, the culture of the people. And that has come from where their roots, the history, all of that. I need to be able to find my way in there, in there. Even if I'm gonna take them to somewhere else, I have to start from the known to take them to the unknown. The only way you're gonna take people to unknown is first of all, they have to accept you. And the only way they can accept you is in the place of unknown. They have, they have to see you as one of them to be able to follow you to where you wanna take them to. Don't forget leadership is the gift that is given to the, to, the, to the leader by the followership. It's not something you take by force. So when I'm communicating for people to follow me to the land, that I'm trying to take them to by, by, my, by the reason of my communication. I have to sell myself to them enough for them to be able to willingly 
willingly go along with me, right? So, and that's all, all about communication, right? Just you have to meet people where they are. They don't have to come to where you are. That's not the first place. You have to come to where, go to where they are. Then you can take them to where it is that you are or wherever you want to go to. People have to accept you and be willing to follow you for you to have communication, you know, otherwise you're, you're, you're speaking Latin, right? And here just goes on and, you know, just talks about the fact that just exactly what we've been talking about. You have to get to know the tradition, accept it, all right? And people accept you, then you can take them. You then to wherever it is that you want to take them to for as long, for as, long as they receive your person. 